Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to create image maps using Dreamweaver. Image maps are simply images that include one or more hotspots. Hotspots are areas of an image that function as hyperlinks. When a viewer moves the mouse over a hotspot in an image, the mouse arrow will change into a pointing hand and the viewer can click on that part of the image to follow a link. Let's create three hotspots on an image. Start with a blank document and insert a photo that is big enough to create three separate button-sized areas. I'm going to use this photo of three turtles. Watch as I demonstrate three different methods of creating hotspots on this image. First, I'm going to check that the thumbnail image in the property inspector is the element that I want to edit on my page. Next, I'm going to type a name for my image map in the map text field found in the properties inspector. I'm going to use three turtles as my map name, but I have to type it in without any spaces because you can't use numbers, special characters, or spaces when you name your map. Then I'm going to click on one of the three drawing tools just below my map name. Let's start with the square drawing icon on the left. I'm going to click it, then click and drag to highlight a rectangular area around the first turtle. This is going to be my first hotspot. When I'm done clicking and dragging, two things happen. The area I've chosen is covered with a blue highlight. This shows me exactly where my hotspot will be. A dialog box also appears, asking me to describe the image map for visually impaired people. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to type Turtle Hotspot into the Alt text field. Now I'm going to click on the folder icon found to the right of the Link text field, and I'm going to find the page that I want to link this hotspot to. I'm going to attach this one to the Amber Turtle. Keep in mind that the highlight you see on the page while you're working won't be there once your site is on the internet. That highlight is just a tool to help you design the page. Now I'm going to repeat this process using the middle circular drawing tool. First I click on it, then I click and drag on my image to define the second hotspot. Let's put this one right on the middle turtle. Go ahead and click OK to get rid of your dialog box, then type Turtle Hotspot into the Alt Text field. And I'm going to have this hotspot linked to the Bertrandite Turtle. For my third hotspot, I'm going to use the Polygon Hotspot Tool icon found just to the right of the Circle Hotspot Tool in the Properties Inspector. This is a neat little tool that allows me to click repeatedly along the outside of my image to make really specific hotspots. I'm going to connect this one to the Chinese coral turtle. Now, let's preview this file in a browser to see how these hotspots are working. When I use the Preview in Browser icon and choose Internet Explorer, I'm prompted to save my page first. You can't preview in a browser until you save the file. I'm going to call this file Hotspots Page and then preview it using Internet Explorer. Once the Explorer window opens, you can see that the hotspots are working perfectly. When I move my mouse over the turtles, the arrow becomes a pointing hand, and when I click on the hotspots, they act as links to the pages I assigned. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.